To start this project, I drilled a 6.5mm hole 10mm into a 20mm thick perspex sheet. And then I tapped a 8mm thread. In a previous video, I made a levitating magnet rotor. For this project, I got my idea from Robert Murray, a great YouTuber. Okay, so just make sure to change your threaded bar to stainless steel. You see stainless steel doesn't stick, but this definitely sticks. So we're going to use stainless steel for this. Let's change this guy out. And we're going to put a stainless steel through the bar. There we go. That's better. So now the magnets won't stick to it. That's much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and just glue this magnet onto this perspex. Then I cut a circle of perspex and divided the perspex into 8 equal parts. This is where the magnets will go for the generator. Then I drilled 22mm holes in each of the circles. This is where the skateboard bearings will go. And I cut 40mm PVC pipe for the turbine blades. And as it would be, this thing would be disconnected from its cap. Anyway, we all just have to, well, we always just wash our hands, can't we? So these are going to go like this. I'm going to put them at about 30 degree, well, actually a 60 degree angle to the notch. So it's going to be like that on each of them. So. Let's go ahead and glue this onto here.
Okay, it's not 3D printer accurate, but it's just still so amazing that that is levitating like that. Okay, the only friction it has is the support of these bearings from it not falling over. Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, look, it is a bit skew. But as I said, it's not 3D printer accurate. So, if you can do better, go for it. Okay, so we still got to put the magnets in. We're going to put the magnets in over here. And then our coils will be on the side over here. And then we'll see what voltage we can generate. Okay, I'll even blow it to make it turn. Isn't that amazing? That is like near yeah, frictionless. Then I use some steel epoxy to glue the magnets into position. And I soldered on some wires onto some contactor coils that I got from a previous project. Then I cut some cardboard. This will lift the contactor coils up to the magnets. And I used some cable ties to hold the contactor coil onto the cardboard. Then I fold the cardboard pieces with some hot glue. And I connected the coil together in series. Then depending how fast the rotor turns will determine the voltage. Okay, so now that we're all done, I want to demonstrate how frictionless this turbine is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blow on the turbine and I'm going to light this LED. So let's go ahead. That is incredible. That is just so cool. Okay, you're going to probably need to put some capacitors um, on this just to even the voltage out, which I actually don't know how to do. So uh, when you guys build one, then be sure to let me know and let me know how it works anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time thanks for watching